Where you from? Your ethnicity. From on your father's side, what are you? <laughs> Colombian on your father's side. You know what speaks Spanish? That's cool. Well, look, Colombians. Is your, 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 um, how far do you, can you trace your lineage? Your grandfather? Only your father? That's it. Do you know? Do you know his dad? Now you, you never met him. Okay. So, going off the spirit, right? Colombians. Do you see Colombia on the, on the chart? You see? You see Colombians? It's there. Oh yeah. You see it, right? So that's that would be your, that would be who you are, the tribe of which you come from. Now, where where, where are they from? Where you from? Uh, according to your father, according to your father's side, what's your ethnicity? Huh? Jamaican and you? Dominican? Demi uh, who's on, on your father's side? Who is it? Your father's side is Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican or your father? Okay. Now, is your father's father Puerto Rican too? Taino, Puerto Rico, right? All right. So your tribe is the same as my tribe. See that? Ephraim is like a cake on turkey. See that? Right. See that? I'm Ephraim and she's Ephraim. But I'm I'm light and she's dark. They like to say that. They said that a lot of Puerto, that Puerto Ricans are all Spaniards. How is that possible when I'm looking at a, a Puerto Rican right, right now? Right. A, give me that. Cake on turkey. It's the book of Hosea, 7 and verse 8. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Hey, sister, you ever made pancakes before? All right, when you don't flip the pancake, what happens to the other side of the pancake? They get burnt, right? So one side is what? Light, other side is dark. So the Bible's saying that Ephraim is like a cake on turn. Some of us come out light skin, some of us come out dark skin. That's right. See that? And what's the difference? We're the same people. We have the same culture, right? Then we have the same bandera, the same flag, right? You know what I mean? We have, we, we all, we all have this. We have the same. We, eat, we love eating platano, right? We love eating mango, man. You know what I mean? We love rice. And, <laughs> hey, look, we love rice. And, <laughs> right? We love eating rice and beans, right? You know what I'm saying? This is what this is like. This is what we do, right? But they like to tell us that we're not, we're not Israelites. I'm like, that, come on, man. How we not Israelites when they all everything pertains in this book to us? Right. Right? So you being Colombian, you be the tribe of what? The Asher, right? Right? So that's that's your tribe according to the Bible. Right now, now addressing did you understand what we said about keeping the commandments? If yeah. you if you follow God, if you follow God, you abide in his love, right? Yeah. I, I have a question. Did I get a flyer by the way? Yeah. Oh praise. Me. Go ahead. What if I'm like what if someone's mixed? There's no such thing as mixed. That's why I asked them if they who are you on your father's side? I'm gonna show you that like there's no such thing mixed. as mixed. Like what if Y'all believe it doesn't mix? Oh wait, you 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 said it right? Like like I'm gonna show you. And I got you. I got you. Now, now watch okay, this. Look, like I'm gonna show I mean? y'all. Well, now watch this. According to the Bible. Now y'all went to school, of course, right? Y'all took science class before too. Y'all took biology. All right, I'm gonna show you according to biology that the seed of a man, sperm, right? The term is the baby. It's not the mom. It's the dad. Now watch this. It's the book of Numbers, 1 and verse 18. Give me ask, give me ask. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Watch this. And they declared their pedigree. You know what the pedigree is, right? You know what the pedigree is? Wrestling. Yeah. No, wrestling. <laughs> well, technically, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's also dog food as well, but... Okay, look, look. Pedigree is a patrilineage, right? Now, I was going to tell you of what lineage? And they declared their pedigrees after their families. Their lineage, right? After their families, by the house of their fathers, their mother. by the house, house of their, of their fathers, fathers. by the house of their fathers, it's a mix. By the house of their fathers, it's, it's only by the daddy. It's only by, by by dad determines the outcome of the baby. Let's see this. And uh, this is Ezra two and fifty nine. I'll give you. This is more proof, right? This is that was one verse. Let's go to another verse. And these were they which went up from Telama to Laharsa. Jerob, Adon, and Imer. Now it's just naming, it's naming people, right? It's naming, they, these are their names, right? Go ahead. But they could not show their father's house. They couldn't show their what house? Their father's house. Their father's house if they what? And their seed. And their seed. Whether they were of Israel. So they have to know, you have to know who your father is to know who you are. You gotta know, wait, who am I? If my father, if your father's Jamaican, you be a Benjamite. Your, your father's Puerto Rican, you Ephraim. Your father's Colombian, that means you're an Asherite. All right, I'm Ephraim. That's that's my tribe. I'm Ephraim. We're the same tribe, all right, sister. All right, all pray. Anybody got last precept? I got I got one minute. Come on. Get here, get there. Matter of fact, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. 
first case, 861. I ain't gonna get that. Yeah, you know. I'm not coming in my brother, though. <laughs> 861. You got it already? Great piece of the punch, bro. Right? Now, watch this. Look. Now, this is a conclusion of why we come out here, too. All right? We're out here to wake up a so called black and Hispanic and native and Seminole Indians because we are the true biblical people of the Bible. Right. right, we are make we make up the twelve tribes of Israel, and our duty is to keep, huh? Say, say the what? No, say actually go ahead. Yes, we make up the twelve tribes of Israel. No, not well. Okay, as a whole, right? The so called the so called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, we make up the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. We were scattered abroad. We was put on cargo slave ships, and we were sold off to our enemies, right? Who's our enemy? The so-called white man, woman and child, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans, the Ethiopians, the Kushites, the Puts, right? They're all our enemies. Right. Everyone that's not on this side is an enemy to the Most High Power God. If you're not on this side, you're an enemy to God. That's a, that's a known fact, huh? Yeah, I got your question. I'm going to let the next speaker tell you. I got you. So go ahead and read this. First Kings, right? First Kings 8 and 61. This is the book of First Kings 8 and verse 61. Come on. Let your heart therefore be perfect. What, is it, what does the Bible say to do? Let your heart be therefore perfect. Now when it's dealing with the heart, anytime you see the word heart, I'm going to ask you another question. Do, do you think with your heart or you think with your mind? La'ab is your mind, your brain, your thoughts. So when you see the word heart, it's saying let your thoughts let your mind, because right now our minds are corrupted. We have, we, our, our thoughts think about sexual immorality, right? We're thinking about, we think about lustful things. We think about sins. We think about a whole bunch of disgusting things that we're not supposed to be doing, right? But the Bible says this. Go ahead. Let your heart therefore be perfect. So let, renew your mind. Change your mind up, right? Go ahead. With the Lord our God. Change your mind and renew it with the Lord, with the Lord your God. Come on. To walk in all his, to walk in his statutes. Right, remember we read earlier, if you love God, oh, he, he will love you if you follow what he say. Right, go ahead. To walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments. To keep all his commandments. As it this day. Right, and to keep them all as it is, as it is this day. Y'all heard the truth. Right, the truth is you walk, the, you have to walk contrary to what the Bible tells you to walk by. Right, if you... Like, uh, uh, I'm using the wrong word. To walk diligently, to walk, to walk. I'm about to use the word diligently. <laughs> to be, to walk diligently in the in, in, in the in the only path that God has told us to walk in, right? Which is keeping the say the Lord, walking all His statutes, all His laws, all His commandments, and that's how you get the love of God. Because loving God is by keeping His commandments. That's right. Right. So I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to say Shalom and pass it on to the next powerful speaker. Shalom. First, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son that the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. Let me get Job 8 and 8. Let me get Proverbs 3 and 7. Proverbs, you get Job. So here's the thing, right? We're coming out here to teach all blacks, Hispanics, men, women, and children that we are the true biblical Israelites and the Jews according to the Bible. Uh, read this. Bring out Proverbs. It's the book of Proverbs 3 and verse 7. No. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Be what? Be not wise in thy own eyes. A lot of blacks and Hispanics are wise in their own eyes. Men, men in general are wise in their own eyes. Y'all can hear me? Y'all can't really hear me like that? She said yeah. I'm going to speak a little louder. Y'all can hear me now? I right, bet. So look, a lot of people are wise in their own eyes. Let's say God loves everybody. Let's say black people are Jews, but that's not what the Bible says. The Bible will say one thing, and a man will say another. You understand? But it's all about what God said in his word, right? So read that. Read, read, read verse 5. Proverbs 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. So we can't lean on our own understanding. Call it a traffic jam with the ambulance right behind me. So I said, trust in, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding because what? What they say all the time, God got you, right? 
And let me get let me get um Proverbs 16 and 1 in the GNT. Let me get let me get that uh Proverbs 16 and 1 in the GNT. We're gonna go right here. But first I want to deal with these, these few proverb verses. Because here's the thing. It's it's not about us. Yeah, we're special, we're holy, we understand we're great, we're the salty earth, we're the best people, right? It's not about us, it's about God. But God set those things up for us. You see what I'm saying? Like like he sent Christ to die for us so that we we can be special through him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bring this out. This is the book of Proverbs 16 and verse 1 in the GNT. We may make our plans, but God has, has the last word. Say that again. We may make our own plans. See, we gonna make our own plans. We like, yeah, white man could be saved. Everybody's equal. This is that, this is that, but what? But God has the last word. But God has the last word. It ain't shit you say. I don't care about what you say. God is who he is. He do what he do. And the hell with you. It's Good. like that. All right, bring your precept. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 1. For all this I considered in my heart, even to the even to declare all this. And that, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand. And their what? And their works are in the hand of God. In the hand of who? In the hand of God. In the hand of the white man. In the hand of God. In the hand of everybody. In the hand of God. It's only in the hand of God that you become righteous. How you become righteous? Start keeping these laws, statutes, commandments, as the powerful brother said. Now, brother, you have a question? Oh yeah. Um, can an Israelite like go to hell? Um, I'm gonna say yes. Cause we're in hell right now. Uh, Give me uh, No, no, I mean like separation from God, like eternal, you know. Condemnation. Eternal damnation. Can an no. Israelite go to hell? No. Get Matthew five. Get Matthew five, and then give me. Matter of like, what if an Israelite got, got the Hebrew? Repent, All right. All right. Or doesn't repent? Like, can he still go to hell? He. I'm. I'm gonna show you, cause, cause your question is coming with a pre. Uh, what's that called? A pre, pre, presupposition of what you understand of what. You think the Bible's saying we wouldn't ask the question like that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna help think. you with that. All right, but hold that real quick. Bring bring this out first. Um, well, is it 19 or 18? Like, can someone go to heaven without repenting, like, I'm without accepting Jesus? No, but I'm I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you real quick. Bring bring yeah. Matthew 5 and verse. Um, start at 17. Just start at 17. Like this is like, the book of Matthew. Listen, listen, listen. 5 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Think not that I come to destroy the law. This is Christ's words. He said, think not that I come to destroy the law. As the Christian church, the Catholic church, the Muslims say it, right? He didn't come to destroy the law. What did he do? All the prophets. Uh -huh. I come I come not to destroy, but to fulfill. So he came to fulfill, right? Keep reading. But verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass. So heaven and earth pass, right? Read. What? And that's the last days, right? When heaven and earth pass, right? Read. One jot or one tittle uh -huh. shall in no wise pass from the law. So he's saying we still have to keep the laws of God, the commandments, right? We still got to keep the commandments, right? So, and then uh, according to uh, Matthew 19, when he read, he re you heard that before? Matthew 19, it said that uh, there's none good but one, but if you want to enter into life, enter into heaven, enter into the, uh, the love of the Most High, keep the commandments, right? Keep reading. To all be fulfilled. To all be fulfilled, read. Whosoever dare shall break one of these least commandments. So, so this is, now, now it's already talking. You're going to keep the law and get to heaven. So those that don't keep the commandments, right, read. Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. So these people are breaking the commandments and teaching to not keep them. What's going to happen to them? He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Wait, the least in what? In the kingdom of heaven. So he's going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven, right? If we go into the club, and I, I, if, if I follow something to get into VIP section, I'm going to be in the VIP. But if I go against that, I can still be in the club. I just won't be in VIP. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Um, and then, yeah, what if I'm like from the, child, from the tribe of Judah, maybe from example, but I'm not following God's commands. I'm not repenting. But, I don't accept Jesus. Can I still go to heaven? Now we're going to deal with heaven and hell, right? Um, give me, give me uh, 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 what's that? Give me that in Revelation. Yeah. Like, do, I, well, do, heaven, do heaven. I just have to be from one of these in order to get to heaven? Or? Yes. Well, one, one thing at a time. So we're going to deal with hell and then we're going to go with who can get it to me. Who can get stuff like that. Like, uh -huh. without repentance. Hell. Yeah, yeah, bring this up. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 14. And death and death. Is death a person? Is, I don't think so. You don't think so, right? Death is something that happens to us, right? We die, right? Read. And what, what what did Christ say? He's going to give us eternal life. 
So if you have eternal life, you won't die, correct? Read. And hell. And what? And hell. And what? And hell. And hell or what? Death and hell. Remember this. Read. We're cast into the lake of fire. So wait. People say that when you when if you don't keep the commandments or whatever you, and you die, you're a sinner. You're gonna go to hell, right? And that's the lake of fire, right? Where you burn forever, get tortured until the end of time. <laughs> that's that, that's crazy. I that's 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 Greek mythology. You know that, right? Y'all ever heard of uh, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades? What is Hades? The god of the underworld, right? What happens down there? The souls get tortured for what? Not for a brief time, forever. That's where that comes from. All right, let's get hell. Right. Come, bring it out in the Greek. We're gonna get in the Greek. That's the word for hell in the Greek, in the um, the Hebrew, Sheol, which means uh the Greek no, in the the grave, the hell, or the the what? The grave. The grave, right? Listen, listen. You heard? Come, it's it's the Greek word Sheol, right? Read. Hell, pit, pit, and it said grave. So when you when you're going and you're you're in the grave, give me oh matter of fact, give me Jeremiah 49. You, you get Jeremiah 49. You got a precept? Bring it up. Uh, this is the book of Psalms 139 and verse 8. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. So if you if if, if we ascend into heaven, he's there. But if we go down, he's still here. You see what I'm saying? What if I, I don't go? What if you don't go? Don't then you're here. Go. Yeah. No, I mean like, like. Give me the place of judgment. Like in, in Ecclesiastes. I guess my question could be, do I need to repent? Huh? I guess my question would be, do I need to repent? You know? Do you need to repent? Yes. Yeah. Get Luke 13 and three. Uh, you and 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 I also want. Let's do it one thing at a time. So get Luke 13 and three. Hold that and get Ecclesiastes um three and twenty. And then get um. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get both of those. And then I need you to get uh, Psalms 9. Get Psalms 9. Alright. Get, get Luke first. So, so this is what we need to do is repent, right, Reed? So, uh, Luke 13 and verse 3. I tell you nay, but except ye repent. So, so this is Christ speaking. He said, I tell you nay. I tell you nothing but this. What? Ye shall all likewise perish. Unless you repent, you will perish, right? Now, what? And, 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 and here's the here's the cold thing, right? How can you be living in hell, tortured forever, but you're gonna perish? That makes no sense. When you perish, you die, right? Definitions. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Uh, get get. You got Acts. Hold that. Get get Ecclesiastes first. Three three and two. Because where's the place of judgment? Because they say hell is the place of judgment, right? What you do on earth, you're going to go to hell and reap everything that you sowed, right? But the Bible doesn't say that. The Bible is saying some, the judgment is somewhere else. It's this Ecclesiastes um, 3 and 20. Right? Oh, oh, 3 and 16. 3 and 16. Slide. Yeah, yeah, come. Bring it up. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 16. No. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. So what's under the sun? Us, right? And where are we? On earth. On earth. So under the sun, where we are, right? And where we are on earth, the place of judgment. Read. Under the sun, the place of judgment. Uh -huh. That the wickedness was there. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So so, so there's righteous people here. And there's, there's wicked people under the place of judgment. I mean, uh, uh, under the sun, where the place of judgment is, right? Jump to, um, where you at? Let me see. Jump 17, and then jump to 20. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. So he's going to judge the righteous and the wicked. Why? Because on the day of judgment, the righteous, some, something's going to happen to the righteous, right? Then something's going to happen to the wicked. See what I'm saying? So that's why we need to repent. Read. For there is time for every purpose and every work. So there's time for everything. And now it's high. Uh, give me, give me, uh, you had the precept, right? Yeah, two. Drop Psalms 9, get Romans 13, 11. Okay, we're talking about time. There's a time for everything. And what time is it right now? We're going to see what the Bible says. Right? Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time. So we got to know what time it is. You got work at 4.30. You get up at 3 o'clock. You thinking it's 10, 10 a.m. You're going to be late. Right? Read. That now it is high time. No, no, no. Tomorrow. 
It is high time. Now it is high time. Not tomorrow, not the next day. We to awake out of sleep. To awake out of sleep. And that's most of you blacks and Hispanics right now. Sleep. Sleep. Right. They don't know about Christ. They, they don't know who they are according to the Bible. They don't know they need to repent. I'm gonna show you. We're, we're gonna we, we're dealing one thing at a time. That's why you know you ask those other questions. I want to answer those. The place of judgment. So hell is here. You see what I'm saying? Good. Right. Uh, come bring the precept out. Uh, Isaiah chapter 50, numbers 20. Uh -huh. And and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob and everybody in Jacob and white people in and Jacob and Asia. In, in Jacob, in East e Indian, in Jacob, only Jacob, only Israel, only Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, according to the Bible. Right. So whoever uh, uh, turns to God from these tribes and th this nation of people will get salvation. Thus saith the Lord God of the Bible. Right. I'm gonna answer your repentance question because I, I know you have another question right after that. So let's get repentance and that. Okay, that's cool. Get get asked. <laughs> It's the book of Acts 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So you have to repent, right? Repent and be converted. We always say Com convert, brother. Get your life right. Well, how you get your life right? With your own heart? That's what the Christian church say. Hey, you got to get right with God. You got you to gotta feel it. You got to feel it in your stomach, right? It don't work like that, man. Just action. These people, yo, that's why I said awake out of sleep because you blacks and Hispanics are lazy. Right. Right. Y'all don't want to get right with God. Y'all want God to come and give you all the answers. Right. You want God to come and just lift you up and just be like, yeah, right, you're righteous now, nigga. No, you got to work the wine press. Oh, that's right. You got to do the plowing, nigga. Right. You got to do it yourself. Get yourself right. Bring it up. Get, get that in um, um, Psalms. So you got to be converted, right? What, what is being converted? Let's find out according to the Bible. Read. Read it up. It's the book of Psalms 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the law of God is perfect as it says in Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect. That's what Christ said. So the law makes you perfect. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul. It does what? It's, the law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul. What does it do? Converting the soul. It converts the soul. So, so, so you not eating pork is converting your soul. You not you loving your brother converts your soul. That's right. Why? Why is it? What what does conversion mean? It means to to transform something to another thing, basically, right? We can get the Google definition more, but that's basically what it is. You were one thing before, now you're something new. That's that whole concept of being a new man, right? Put off that old man, get a new man. The old me, the, the old somebody used to be a murderer, used to sell drugs or, or pimp women or stuff like that. The new me loves my sisters. The new me doesn't sell drugs to my people. The new me doesn't murder my people. That's, That's why the Bible, the laws convert your soul. My, my soul is made anew. Our soul is made anew. That, that's how you get perfect. You see what I'm saying? Drop the songs. All right? I'll bring it out. This is the book of Sir Brack, chapter 17, verse 25. Return unto the Lord. We, we return to who? Unto the Lord. Oh, return to your own heart. Unto the Lord. See, see, I brought out a, I brought out a scripture on Proverbs, right? Proverbs three and seven. But basically, don't be wise in your. Oh yeah, be, don't be wise in your own heart. 